Well, today is Wednesday, uh, July the 11th. Uh, we pick things on Sunday, on the 8th. And these uh, 4th of July's, we had a half, a quarter minute of rain uh, Monday and a half inch yesterday. And I've never had a 4th of July tomato split. And you can, that's a split tomato. Everybody at gardens knows you just take a knife and cut a V-notch in that and eat the rest of it. But it'll go bad really quick, so you have to eat the split ones first. Uh, it's very rare to have those split. The, the uh, sweet millions, we got a little bit in a Walmart bag. <clears throat> and we finally got some better boys. Pretty decent tomato. That one got, you can see where a bird bit into that. You can see the bottom of the beak there and the upper beak there. No big problem, you can cut that off. And, of course, two more bags of beans. They're both, I don't know, five, six inches tall. And some cukes. Now, most of these plants, except the beans, are shutting down a little bit and not uh, producing uh, new fruit. You don't really want a cucumber to get that big. These are, this is probably, you need it uh, between the two of those. Uh, one nice thing about a cucumber is you can pick them anytime you want. You could eat them and they were inch long. But it would be wasting a lot of uh, cucumbers for a meal. And the only problem you have is you don't want these to get so big that the seeds get hard because you can't chew them and your body really can't digest them. Where when they're at a more normal size, they're perfectly easy to eat. Now this is their mystery cucumber. It came up on the end of the uh, fence row down there, and I thought maybe we'd put a seed out uh, beyond the fence, but this was laying on the ground. But we uh, picked two of these off, and uh, they were longer than this, and they were the greatest cucumber I have ever eaten. And you had like seed area all the way to the very ends. You didn't cut off any solid white things. And we're going to have to save the seed. Now, I don't know if it's a hybrid or a heritage. Uh, it's slick. See how these have the little spots all over them and you knock those little things off? This is slick. It's a great tasting cucumber. I wish I knew what it was. Now, it could have been left in the seed hopper when they were making up seeds and it just fell into that bag of seed we bought, little package. But... Uh, these are my favorite. They're the smaller ones, and this is more of a dill pickling cucumber, and you generally don't want to let them get that long. You can see where there was a little less water, where the ends are narrow, and the bottoms are, flat, are fat. They pretty much finished growing. Might as well pull them. And probably for pickles, you want them about that size. So you can see the difference. Now this is probably going to be a good eating cucumber, and you could slice it up and make pickles out of it and it would certainly fill a jar but that's uh, what I got on cukes and we finally cleaned off the top of this island in their kitchen uh, my wife said please don't film those vegetables in here and show all the stuff we had piled up on this island it uh, is a collecting point but uh, we finally got it cleared off this weekend because we got to get ready for the big reunion but anyway that's the harvest from uh, the 11th of July. One more little point about tomatoes. You should never put a tomato in the refrigerator. It ruins its flavor. The only time we put a tomato in the refrigerator is if we slice it in half and we want to use the rest the next day. It absolutely ruins a whole tomato to put it in a the refrigerator. They might keep longer, but they're not worth eating. That's just my feelings on it. Well, today is Friday the 13th of July, and we picked a few more vegetables. I'm going to stick this with the uh, video on the 11th of what we picked that day, and uh, put it on up together. This is the salad tomatoes. The last ones we picked had a lot of splits. This is the only one that had a split in it. The rest of them are perfect. That's our cherry tomatoes. And for scale, there's a drink bottle, a liter bottle. 
and uh, that's a few cherries. And then we just had a few cukes. One of the uh, things of growing them in a uh, fence is sometimes they get in the fence and you have to get your uh, wire cutters and cut the fence away so you can pop it out of there. Well folks, that's what we did for this Friday. Thanks for watching.